Ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk about our common responsibilities in the face of a common danger. The events of recent weeks may have helped to illuminate that challenge for some, but the dimensions of its threat have loomed large in the horizon for many years. Whatever our hopes may be for the future, for reducing this threat, or living with it, there is no escaping either the gravity or the totality of its challenge to our survival and to our security. What happened? What happened? You got hit. Oh, you got shot. Name? What's your 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 name? Shit. Can you say Even today, there is little value in opposing the threat of a closed society by imitating its arbitrary restrictions. Even today, there is little value in ensuring the survival of our nation if our traditions do not survive with it. This is not a war zone. This is not a war zone. Why are y'all doing this to our people? I've been to Iraq 14 months for my people. You can't hurt them. We are veterans of the United States of America. Protect us. Why are you hurting your citizens? There is no honor in what you're doing. Without criticism, no administration and no country can succeed, and no republic can survive. That is why the Athenian lawmaker Sola decreed it a crime for any citizen to shrink from controversy. For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence, on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, on intimidation instead of free choice, on guerrillas by night instead of armies by day. It is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. And who got the money? Hundreds and hundreds of banks, plus who they are. No, because the reason that it's counterproductive and will destroy the value of the program is that banks will not come to the business. Well, isn't that too bad? Its dissenters are silenced. No expenditure is questioned. No rumor is printed. No secret is revealed. And what reassurance can you offer the American people who may be concerned about your savings account, your checking account? Well, I, I've got to say our, our, our banking system is a safe and a sound one. And there is very grave danger that an announced need for increased security. An individual of Iranian-American descent. An international conspiracy by elements of the Iranian government. A plot to assassinate the ambassador to the United States uh, from Saudi Arabia. Will be seized upon by those anxious to expand its meaning. I think Iran unfortunately is morphing into a military dictatorship. This is just my opinion. I'm mm. by no means an expert on Iran or on Iranian politics. To the very limits of official censorship and concealment. That I do not intend to permit to the extent that it's in my control. I have no easy answer to the dilemma that I have posed and would not seek to impose it if I had one. But I am asking every publisher, every editor, and every newsman in the nation to re-examine his own standards and to recognize the nature of our country's peril. Seriously? The Occupy Wall Street protest entered its third week today. So this afternoon, we went to Wall Street. There are all kinds of people there, babies, Teachers, cheerleaders, Uncle Samta, and that. So we sent a team down to Wall Street to talk to these liberal protesters. You are nothing, nothing but you're like a cigarette. Patchouli, body odor, and urine. I hope you showered before. Well, I tell you, I actually.
actually interviewed that one guy that was getting acupuncture. I'm here to tell you those are hypodermic needles. That man is full of heroin. <laughs> I am not asking your newspapers to support an administration, but I am asking your help in the tremendous task of informing and alerting the American people. What do they want? Well, they, I don't know what they want. They don't know. They don't know. Well, we don't know. I don't know how I got screwed. Take a shower and they can get a job. They're aging hippies. Throwing feces. They hate all banks. rent -a mobs Down with capitalism. Pots. Pans. You sound like a left-wing nut bar. Big government anarchists. Spitting on a woman in a Coast Guard uniform. I didn't call you a nut case. I called you a you nut said bar. You they even have ties to terror groups, to Hamas groups. It's not surprising because all of these radicals work together. They're just a bunch of bums. Banging drums. Bang a drum. Banging That's not drums? How Banging drums. Hang on a drum and leaving your feces in a public park. In the end, you've got to have corporate governance. Nothing else works. Unfortunately, it's fun to talk to the uh, propaganda machine in the media, especially conservative media Ooh. networks such as yourself, because we find that we can't get conversations on the Department of Justice's ongoing investigation of News Corporation, for which you are an employee, but we can certainly ask questions like, you know, why are the poor engaging in class warfare? Well, I have complete confidence in the response and dedication of our citizens whenever they are fully informed. That is why our press was protected by the First Amendment, the only business in America specifically protected by the Constitution, not primarily to abuse and entertain. Hey, I'm Anderson. Big new development in the Herman Cain sexual harassment story. The question is, is the story over? I was falsely accused of sexual harassment. Since his story broke, he's raised $1.6 million. Rick Perry says he was sober. If you look at the speech online, a million hits on YouTube. You to serve 30 days in the county jail. Live free or die, victory or death. Bring it. To find criminal liability on the part of Dr. Murphy. and Kahn, we moved the ball forward. You know, this is pretty easy math. Subtract it, send it in. I understand the cookie monster. And the charges, the IMF. Not to emphasize the trivial and the sentimental. Plus, the guy with nicknamed Carpool Guy gets a spot on the ridiculous. The ticket is $500. It don't matter. I can pay it. I, what's your drive? Oh, duh. Obviously, I mean, if television reporters had real money, they'd all be strutting around in those fancy Elmo t-shirts I keep hearing so much about. Oh, what? Oh, this just in. They have you down there filming what's going on in Oakland, all the riots and shit. They got your fat, lazy, non-relevant, non-factor ass out here filming highway patrol Not to simply give the public what it wants but to inform, to arouse, to reflect, to state our dangers and our opportunities, to indicate our crises and our choices, to lead, mold, educate, and sometimes even anger public opinion. I not only could not stifle controversy, I welcome it. This administration intends to be candid about its errors, for as a wise man once said, an error doesn't become a mistake until you refuse to correct it. Perhaps there is no answer to the dilemma faced by a free and open society in a cold and secret war. But this is a time of peace and peril which knows no precedent in history. Now the links between the nations, first forged by the compass, have made us all citizens of the world the hopes and threats of one becoming the hopes and threats of us all. In that one world's effort to live together, the evolution of gunpowder to its ultimate limit has warned mankind of the terrible consequences of failure. And so it is to the printing press, to the recorder of man's deeds, the keeper of his conscience, the courier of his news, that we look for strength and assistance, confident that with your help, man will be what he was born to be, free and independent.